Welcome to PIL, the Planicide Infantry League. This is 6v6. Two teams containing six players face off each other on a pre-selected base for two rounds of 15 minutes. The goal is simple, try to outscore your opponent. There are many ways to score points. Each kill of your opponent grants one point, with a few exceptions. A kill with a rocket launcher is worth zero points. A kill as a max unit is also worth zero points. But killing an enemy max unit will grant you six points no matter the weapon. The first capture or defense grants your team a total of nine points. After this, a capture in the same round will grant your team a total of 18 points. As you gain points, there are some actions of which you will lose points. A team kill or a suicide makes you lose 2 points. A team kill on a max or suicide as one makes you lose 8 points. Each team starts from a designated spawn position from a vehicle called the Sunder. When the first round ends, both teams will switch sides. The team with the highest score at the end of two rounds wins the match. May the best team win. Hi, hello everybody, and welcome to Pill Season 2. I'm Gellos, I'm going to be your host for today's last match of the evening. Uh, my co-caster today is Crossjump. Hi. Today we have uh, ATP versus Bax A. Uh, they're going to be fighting at Gone and South, uh, which is a map that pretty much everybody knows universally, so there's not really going to be an experience inbounds. And this is also both uh, two teams that know uh, the 6v6 format fairly well, I would say. They, they not, Maybe not uh, years of experience on the um, ATP side, but I would say enough uh, individual experience to balance that out. Uh, and then Bax A obviously has a lot of a lot of experience coming into this um, you know, a couple of years, I'd say at least they've they've uh, had their team, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, kind of a, an exciting match, uh, and and the skill uh, uh, balance between the individual players is also looking to be pretty promising. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, ATP they don't have a lot of experience really. I think Rapid's the only one that's actually played in a tournament before. Actually, no, Spy did play in uh, Pill One as well, but they've been playing a ton. Like I think they played well over 20 practice matches in prep for this tournament so i've seen a lot of those guys on pog and speaking of let's go ahead yep. and take a look at these all right so for the atp guys we have spy call me pain menace i'm the gift candy van and rapid which looks like that's all on the script as well so i don't think we had any subs last minute um nope. Again, all most of these guys I've definitely seen in Pog a lot, so they, they absolutely know the uh, the format, they know the map, uh, no matter what. Uh, as for a team, um, you know, uh, this has gone in south, so it's it's a kind of a, an easy map to understand and learn, um, first time even. So even if they didn't have the experience, uh, you know, this is this is going to be a, a map where they they kind of uh, pick that up fairly quickly if that wasn't the case, which I don't yeah. really think. Um, is. It's a map that they practice a lot. Too. They played um, R RPN and Prey are kind of their main screen partners there, and I think they played them like three or four times each on this map. I think mm -hmm. they even played Backsay a couple times on here. So it's a map they're very familiar with, for sure. For the Backsay side, we've got Tellian, Zangief, Moons, Begong, Turtle on Bolt, and Monkey as LA. Um, you know, this is this is a decent uh, decent roster for their heavies here. Zangief uh, and Moons uh, both been playing pretty well lately. Begong has uh, kind of always been uh, somewhat consistent, I would say. Uh, and then Tellian, uh, we've seen him on this map specifically uh, do a lot of flanks, uh, at least when he's coming in from north side. So I expect some flank play from Tellian, uh, at least one half. Uh, but he, he does tend to do uh, a pretty impressive job if he can actually manage those flanks pretty well. Uh, um, looking, looking back at ATP, uh, I mean, Spy and Pain are kind of their top two players, I'd say. Um, you know, really aggressive, really strong heavies. Um, Menace, also pretty strong heavy. Tends to be a little bit more passive, kind of like holds angles a little bit more. Gift, also a little bit more passive, but pretty solid. Um, plays a lot of Pog, um, so he definitely has some experience. Um, the weak point for ATP and what I'd be worried about here is the LA and Bolt play, though. Um, Rapid has had some really big games, particularly on Ganon, um, so he could definitely go off. He is a little inconsistent, 
Um, and Candy is, he's a good aimer, but he's also new to planet side in general and playing LA specifically. Um, so some of the like positioning and movement type stuff might be a bit of an issue for him. Now for the map. Um, fun. Yeah. Uh, hang on. And fun fact about Candy, he's uh, actually an X H one Z one pro. Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's where the aim comes from. Uh, hasn't played that much Planet Side yet. You know, as as weird as it, I mean, considering H one Z one was a Daybreak game, it's weird that you don't see more crossover like that uh, from from the H one Z one community. Yeah, for sure. For the map, we've got Gone and South. Again, I have talked about this a little bit uh, ago, but uh, it's it's a classic map that uh, it's very easy for, for kind of beginner teams to understand, um, and even teams with, with a little bit of experience can go into this and, and uh, almost master the map. Now, there's there's a, there's a couple of nuances on that, which I think Baxay has really started picking up recently, um, where... where Doing a spawn lock can be more effective if you're if you're going north side to south. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, as soon as I go into the in match screen. But uh, it's it's a map that a lot of people do know. It's a beloved map by the community. Uh, so we're gonna see uh, a, pr a probably pretty good uh, teamwork and te good good team play by both sides because it's a fairly small one that um, it, it's not too difficult to pick up and, and kind of figure out uh, uh, where where people need to start uh, holding. Yeah. <coughs> Um, we've got uh, ATP starting south and I believe back starting north. Um, that's kind of what it'll look like at the start. Um, I think that for most teams, the south side tends to be stronger. You've got easier point access. It's harder to um, get truly locked out because you've got at least three doors to get in. Um, you're also giving up that roof with the easy wall climb. Uh, so that's kind of the disadvantage on south side. North side, of course, you've got wall climbs hopefully you can get the flank control get the roof control and use that but it but it's also tough to get back in because you kind of have to push in dubs if you're not going to really use the flanks i want to point out um, these wall climbs that you're talking about there is a wall climb from north to south and it's this one here on the left side uh we're gonna see roof heavies that's almost always a given from the north side spawns uh monkey <laughs> is going to be playing la the entire game but you will expect probably tellian to be playing this roof heavy coming up uh, up along the side Okay, we'll go up here, side door up uh, on door one, come inside, and then he's going to help to clear out uh, the fat hold, which if ATP is playing this correctly, they won't push so far into server uh, that they'll be inside of uh, behind the server box and this server box or uh, playing so aggressively that they'll even be up along this wall because these, these aren't really great spots to hold. A lot of the times the best places to hold for Gone and South are fat stairway here, uh, especially for the bolt. And then skinny stairway here. You get the crossfire set up for both angles, and it makes it very difficult for the north side spawn to start pushing in. Uh, they have to basically simultaneously clear out fat and skinny at the same time uh, in order to actually start moving into the building. It's very, very difficult, even for a coordinated team, to completely clear that at the same time. Uh, so the, the yep. best way to do it is the flank. Uh, we're going to likely see Tellian, maybe even Moons, maybe Monkey, uh, pushing in from door one uh, and then trying to clear out from fat. Yep. Um, that's definitely the way to alleviate it, and I hope the backs will use it, because otherwise it's going to be a rough half for them. Oh, yeah. If they're yeah. just going to keep feeding into it, because ATP is going to be prepared, they're going to have crossfires ready Absolutely. here. They're going to have it all planned out of where to stand and get the good angles. Now, once Baxay does that, it's expected that they're, because they are... Our team, start getting into your bus. Start getting into your bus. They're somewhat of an aggressive team, so they're likely going to be pushing up along door one. They're going to start getting the spawn lock set up on this angle here with door one, and then another player around door two uh, holding these two crossfire angles uh, quite well um, if they're playing it smart, which I do expect them to. They've really been practicing a lot to do that kind of a hold. Technically speaking, the south side tends to be the stronger side, but if Baxay pulls off a very aggressive hold, uh, ATP could feed a lot of points uh, just going into the fat doors, near the fat doors, uh, and around the uh, the fat doors, uh, and then trying to push in from Swamp Stairs is going to be their only option after that. Yeah, I'm curious to see how they'd handle that if that gets into that situation, because I don't think it's something they've ever really seen before. Like I said, they mostly play RPN, Prey, uh, which are, you know, pretty solid teams, but not going to get super aggressive and do that real spawn yeah. lock or have the chance to do it even, really. Yeah. Um, so that's something that could definitely be an issue for ATP, something they've never seen before. Um, Both teams, we are starting 1 minute 45 seconds, 1 minute 45. Right, so right, we're so going we're in about two a couple minutes. 
but yeah, this oh. is a uh, this is a map that that definitely does require um, just a little bit of uh, coordination for the push from north to south. Uh, but after that, because it's such a small-ish building, uh, you can kind of uh, just do a spawn lock, or you can play it safe inside, which some teams tend to do. Baxay is not going to be one of those teams, I suspect. Uh, ATP may, however, when they switch sides and go to north side, we might see them play around on hall uh, as well as around point server boxes. Uh, but we will see. Yeah, I think I think they'll play a bit more passive. Um, one interesting thing to talk about with ATP is that they tend to really mix their lineups. Um, they always like to get everyone playing time. Um, so this is actually the first time that they're running this exact lineup, which is definitely their best lineup. Um, you know, it's by far their best heavies, forty-five um, their seconds. Their best LA, their best. Uh, Bolter. So it's going to be interesting to see if there's a little bit of a feeling out period. They're just getting used to this specific lineup, even if they've played with some of the people before. Um, you know, maybe there's just a little bit of unfamiliarity with this. Yep. And same, somewhat similar uh, story goes for Bax. They swap a lot of people out a lot of the times, but this team in particular is actually one of their stronger lineups um, with Turtle on Bolt. Uh, Monkey on LA, and then uh, they're probably some of their best uh, heavy players uh, going uh, for for the rest of them. But Gong and Moons specifically, Zangief really playing nine, that mid uh, that eight, mid strength kind of seven, heavy player. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Match has started. All right, so I'm going to take a look at uh, the ATP side. Uh, it looks like we got one bolt, well, two LAs, interestingly enough, which means they're going to have less uh, support yep. inside the building. I heard a rumor that they were going to do this on the start just to try and get um, some advantage on the flanks on the opener, because timing-wise, they can theoretically keep backs contained in server on the opener, although they don't, actually. Tons of conks just came out, but you can see that they popped a med kit right beforehand, so none of those actually affected them. Unfortunately for them, however, uh, Zangief just came out and actually managed a double pick there, uh, clearing out Hall, essentially, and only one left on Skinny. He goes down as well, rapid the bolt, uh, not uh, not managing to actually get a pick there, it looks like. Churtle looks like yeah. he picked up a double egg. I must have missed that. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what what happened on the roof there looks like they went one for one on the roof um bax actually didn't send a heavy to help monkey off the opener which is kind of surprising now Those here's they do that. here's a common mistake by uh, by some teams they'll end up pushing up along uh, point but they won't clear fat unfortunately for the bax a side when they tried to actually push that uh they they were it was expected and they they turned around on rail immediately took out zangief as he tried to push uh that was a smart move by atp we can still win this uh, but meanwhile, we see Moons finally onto the roof, supporting Monkey. Uh, kind of an interesting choice to have Moons go up there, because you'd think he's their best heavy, and you'd want him inside supporting his team. Um, mm -hmm. And I think this is definitely a misplay by them, because they're not dropping, either. Like, yeah. Moons and Monkey are just staying up there, and ATP just pushed straight up fat inside and got all the kills inside. Um, now, if Bax 8 times this correctly, this could still work for them. They just have to wait until the uh, moment's right, and then they can start flanking back in. But they do have to time it right. Monkey getting a spawn camp kill with the black hand. Um, now here comes the drop, finally. Yep, Moons. Monkey goes down right away, though. Moons gets one pick here, but he does have to deal with one on door two. One door one as well coming in. Big Gong does scope out the fat man. He goes down. And then the other last ATP heavy goes outside the door, leaving Bax 8 to get building control. Now... Back say what they want to do now is exactly what they're doing. They're getting that spawn camp starting to get set up here. Zangief goes down early, but there's still Churtle and still Tellian out here. Uh, and then Begong holding around door two area and Moon. That's a nice pick by Churtle. It was a great straight. pick. And I was just going to say, that's this is exactly how to deal with that. Drop down into swamp and come up the stairs. That's the safest approach. Yep. Um, they lose one, but they get the two for one trade. So works out. Oh, looks like they were definitely ready for that. Spotted enemy heavy. Moon's here holding in a kind of a bad spot. He does not realize, it seems like, the door one uh, flank is gone. Oh, Zanky pushing through Swamp right now. He's going to get a free flank on door one here. Ooh, but if he missed um, times this, this could be bad for him. It looks like he is yeah. aware that the his team is not not ready for this flank. So he's just going to hold it, probably, trying to That's get the next That's a smart play there. I, I think Monkey yeah. may have actually called that he needs to wait there. That was, that was actually a really good call, whoever made that. Give it your all. <laughs> now they do give up point control as a result. Um, now here comes the push, finally. He conks up fat, but he's not pushing behind it. There he goes. 
Ooh, Zangief goes down early, and none of the team seems to, uh, seems to have taken advantage of that distraction. McGong also goes down inside server. Shirtle went down behind server box. Uh, that is unfortunately going to put uh, all the points back into uh, net uh, zero for either side. ATP and Baxay both going 22 right now. Uh, you know what Zangief's big mistake there was? He threw that conk. That alerted ATP to the fact mm -hmm. that he was there. Gift was able to turn around and just kill them. Well, also... If he just went the the entire team was just just uh, up here on hull. There's really not been uh, any kind of uh, uh, movement yet from the the dubs push to, to start trying to at least get them off those doorways. There's just too many ATP players in general on hull right now. Yeah, that was tough. Uh, meanwhile, oh. Tellian and Monkey pick off the LA. Tellian drops and just instantly gets blasted on door one. Another smart play there by ATP. They knew it was taking a little too long for uh, for Baxay to start pushing in the server. They knew that flank was coming. He was actually scoping that out before he came in. Yep. Um, Candy's really struggling on the roof early on. He's had a heavy and a LA against him most of the time, and Monkey's a pretty solid LA. Mm -hmm. So, you know, kind of makes sense that he's struggling, but ATP's doing a really good job of countering and being ready for those uh, flanks when they happen. So and even though Bax has roof control, they're not really able to do anything with yeah. it. Considering uh, how much Candy seems to be harassing Monkey, even without just winning the roof straight away, uh, it, it does seem to be noticeable that we're not we're not seeing Monkey drop in nearly as often as we used to usually do anyway uh, for his door one pushes. Here he goes finally. He does have that push going. He's got he's got a double pick there uh, with Tellian picking up another on uh, door one. So that's a triple for the team. Yep, that leaves Pain alone inside, but he still gets the cap. Um, yep. No one pushing from server. Uh, I think they, they were all some... wiped there. Just, they just got back yeah. inside the doors. Look. They went for like a four-man flank there, so there's no one really to push inside from server. Now, nine points uh, is what you get for a cap, so that puts these scores right now at 41 to 32 in favor of ATP. Bagong here gets a one-for-one one trade off of Spy before going down himself. Oh, a nice shot a nice there by Rapid. Oh, that was actually Menace. Oh, that Menace got with that. another comic. And another one. Oh, fantastic here. They just pull out the pistols and just uh, kill them all. That's a full wipe there. Um, yeah, it was. That's huge. Uh, the cap is counted in if you look at the, the flag. Bullet, gets picked off. It's punished for it. Anytime you see a flag on the, uh, on the side, uh, that means that there was a cap for that particular side. They do pull it back on Spy, who was flanking through Swamp, but... <clears throat> Back say now really playing get it back inside. a bit more cautiously here. Ooh. Look at the roof here. We got Churtle now going up to the roof with the bolt. He's actually going to drop off now. I was going to say that that would be a really tough thing for ATP to deal with, I think, getting him off the roof. Yep. Now, Moons did just get the kill off the LA. That frees up Monkey to start heading back inside. Uh, he does have another heavy to deal with over here, though. Oh, but... Uh... Oh, Moon's picked off, I'm the gift, but he goes down himself to spy. Uh, overall, two for two uh, with the LA and the heavy. Uh, so team fight wise, no uh, no positives. Bigong picks up a nice triple inside server, Ooh. but he goes down and then spy gets the nice clean on Turtle. Um, Solid play there by, uh, by spy. It really helps stabilize this team. Um, they were struggling against that push, but he just came in and kind of cleaned everyone up. And the ATP reinforcements have arrived. They are all in hull. Uh, kind of leaves Moons here in a bad spot because he's stuck behind this server box. Doesn't look like he took that conk quick enough or that took that med kit quick enough. He's, he is affected by the conk. Uh, the door one flank looks like it's going somewhat okay. I think we got one pick so far, but there goes Telling going down immediately. Does Moons have to be with Candy. Push and server goes down. Begone looking for a 1v1. One -one. He's not going to find it. Gets 2v1. Spy takes him down. You now Churl just has to back out on server. No one else left alive. Zangief stuck in a bad spot over here on door one. He can't push this and he can't really retreat because they know he's here. He goes down. Hmm. ATP is just so well organized right now. They're oh, ready yeah. for everything Vax is doing. Like they know where every flank is coming from. They just have good crossfires ready for everything. Mm -hmm. The key right now for Bax A is they got to get this building clear, because uh, that has been their biggest struggle so far, and that's expected for uh, for trying to push in from north to south, because it's very, very yeah. difficult to do. Yeah, I don't think this score is fatal at all, because no. in the second half, it can definitely swing the other way Absolutely. Um, on the other side. Now, the building has been finally cleared out. Bax A has the momentum. They're going to start pushing straight away for door one. 
Turtle here getting set up. Gets a body on Call Me Pain. Zangief waiting here by uh, Swamp Stairs. Oh, but he's about to get flanked. Get... Get... Yep, two heavies pushing up Swamp Stairs here. Three, actually. Sees the spot off a of spy, but there's three there. He's about to get pushed out of this. Yep, he's in a tough spot this down. Monkey in a nice spot there. I didn't notice he was on the crossfire angle for that, but he doesn't take anybody. Yeah. And then he oh, but really he takes aggressive. Menace yeah. just before going down, though. That was a good uh, good trade. That was with a black hand, too. At that yeah. Range. Oh, that was a nice no-scope there by Churtle. Gets him out. I'm the gift from uh, right in front of him, in fact. Yep, that definitely helps close the score. Yep. It's now an 11-point ATP lead. Five minutes left in the half. Yep, and now Tellian getting aggressive here. Goes down to Menace, though. Menace, that's uh, an SMG heavy. You gotta be very careful when you meet one of those. You get too Menace close like that. doing really well right now. She top fragging uh, for ATP. Zangief, unfortunately, was left all alone after that. Did not pull back inside the building quick enough. He went, went down outside. Now, a big push by ATP going up fat. If they clear out this hall, that's fatal for anybody downstairs. Now it's just Turtle alone yep. and he doesn't get a kill. Big splash damage going out uh, with the Desi hits Tellian. That's going to yep. force him to wait. I like from ATP that they didn't all push Skinny either. They had two people go Skinny and the other two watched dubs and kept uh, prevented backs from pushing in with these three heavies. Now the heavies are stuck out. Now they're trying to go for the push. Tellian just runs into a wall though. Ooh, a nice pick there by uh, by Zangief. Gets it off Call Me Pain. He's still kind of stuck in this spot here. Where he got, he's got to clear out one or the other, and then he can push. I don't think he realized that they're fat not is pushing clean. Here. Spy does get the kill on him, but I think Spy should have gotten more aggressive there and just gotten the kill on Zangief when he had no shields. Rabbit here now oh. peeking back inside a server. Looks like he might have gotten a body off of uh, Tellian. Uh, taking a look at the roof here, Gift actually switches back to Light Assault to help Candy uh, get control of the roof here. We got a 2v2 on the roof here. Moons gets a kill, but he drops off, leaving just Candy and Monkey on the roof. Moons stuck in Swamp right now. Now here comes the push by Bax A. Uh, Tellian goes down early, so this is going to be uh, somewhat difficult for the, the Bax A side. Uh, no picks yet from the ATP side, or on the ATP side, I should say. Uh, Spy does go down on Fat. A big flank here by Moons. There's a big clear on Hall. They're going to be pushing onto Skinny. They don't realize Rabbit is here, standing next oh, to Skinny no. Door. He <laughs> might be able to get away or get at least one pick. Oh, the entire back's A side has just gotten aggressive. They do not know. He's That's. Gonna wait for the next player to respawn. I think so. I think he's just going to wait inside. Oh no, he's going to hit point. No, they never flip point, which doesn't really matter because there's only three minutes left. They can't get a cap, but uh, backs never bothered to flip point. That's all. They do finally spot him out, though. Uh, actually, gets one. Monkey and Bagong now playing in swamps. Monkey does go back up, leaving Bagong on swamp side. Bagong will have to deal with menace, I think. I think he might be spotted out. Oh no, he's gonna have to deal with call me pain instead. Oh, here he comes. Here they go. A lot of damage there, but Pain I think he's gonna go down here. Oh, Tommy. oh they've good both drop there by Tellian. That was a that was a couple of shots. It I think really he took fails there. his teammate. There yeah. Right there. Now this is where Baxe can start kind of getting those points back. They actually did a fantastic clear so far uh, off that spawn. That's uh, that actually put them back uh, almost uh, I think seven points now um, away from uh, being back to neutral. Uh, and despite the cap as well. So technically yep. winning in the kill side, I think. One problem with the way they were getting aggressive there is Tellian wasn't backing up Churl. Yep. Churl peeks door two, gets shot in the back because Tellian's not there to watch the swamp stairs. Um, and Tellian goes down as well. Oh, the gong also yes. going down around door three. Just waiting a little too long to start pulling back sometimes. This, uh, this back's a uh, team does. Turtle here scoping out one heavy going towards Fat, but he uh, he's gonna get away. Moons with the big door three flank. That's a risky push there, but it looks yep. like it might Monkey have worked out. Monkey Italian at door one as well get a kill. Oh, now it's just Rapid Pain. Oh, Pain Rapid down. gets a double there <laughs> and a body off of Moons, allowing his teammate to take that up. That was a fantastic, fantastic counterplay by Rapid. That's huge.
Now Baxe starting to get uh, to get stacked up around Dub's side. They uh, yep, so far Tully have been going playing back to the roof as usual. So far we've been seeing them doing a lot more flanks in this last uh, five minutes or so. So I expect another big flank from them uh, coming in door one anytime. That's what they need to do. Um, like their heavies can't win these fights inside. Yeah, the HP's getting the consistent two v ones. Yeah, the crossfire angles are just are just absolutely destroying the Bax A team. Yeah, like if you look at their scores here, um, Moons is positive, but he's only plus one. Monkey and Turtle are pretty positive, plus sign, plus seven, and the rest of the heavies are all pretty big negative. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see that's exactly it. The heavies are struggling against these crossfires, and even in one v ones. Um, while it's the bolts in the LA that are really carrying them. Point Big points. ATP push coming up on Fat and on points here. Call me Pain pushing up onto Moons, but there's a crossfire. Zangief takes him. Moons here might be able to take the bolt. He gets. Yep. Only 40 seconds left in the round too. And that's that's getting the score gap a lot closer. <laughs> that was Man, this very was nice trying to kill the LA across the map. Fantastic the shuffle there by Monkey. <laughs> Menace does manage Moons though. Moons does not seem to have noticed that he went out to, to door one there. You gotta you gotta watch your back on the oh. on these pushes sometimes. Menace actually uh, suicided with the Desi there. Got Bakong in the process. The unfortunate thing for Menace is that also means that uh, he didn't get any points for the kill. Yeah, but he, he didn't also lose died. any points though. It He's... also it registered as a Desi kill for mm -hmm. Bakong though, so he didn't lose yep. any points. So that's, that's a net, zero, net net neutral kill, I suppose. Half over. And that's, half over. Uh, all right. So far, Players, switch your Sunday. really good showing here by both Baxe and ATP. Um, and despite the fact that technically Baxe is losing, uh, it should be noted, uh, Baxe is on what is considered the weaker side right now. So now they're swapping over to the stronger side. We could really see a huge comeback from Baxe, right? Um, but on the flip side, a lot of what Baxe was doing really well was using their roof. Monkey, mm -hmm. plus 10, um, Talion getting those flanks off. That was something that they did really, really well. And on the net, the other side, they're not going to have that. It's just going to be Monkey alone up there. ATP is probably going to have a heavy helping out Candy. That's going to be really tough for them to deal with it from is. that perspective, though. Um, so they're going to have to step it up inside. I think their heavies are going to have to, um, you know, really step it up, win some fights inside for them. So for the scores, let's take a look here. We've got ATP at 97, Bax A at 88. Uh, I believe that's a... Uh, nine po six point lead? So, it's a so nine point, point gap. Nine point gap. Exactly what the cap <laughs> was. So the only difference yeah. right now is the cap. Um, yeah. If you look that, at the kills that, there. That capture counts for nine points. That puts them up uh, just nine points there. And, and again, they're expected to get that cap from south side. Uh, and then unless ATP is really, really aggressively holding spawn down uh, against Bax A on this next half, uh, Bax A could get that next cap, and then it'll just be net neutral all over again. And then Bax A could really come back hard, especially if they get uh, that crossfire angle set up the same way that ATP got it. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, now, let's take a look at the individual scores here. We've got uh, Spy here, 10 uh, net score, 24 kills, 15 deaths. He is a, a tie for top frag of the game right now with Monkey, uh, also at 24 kills. Uh, but overall, really nice job. 71% HSR as well by a heavy. Uh, pretty pretty mm -hmm. impressive, honestly. Uh, and he wasn't using like an SMG in super close range or anything. He was, he was using a regular Orion. Uh, so a nice showing here by Spy so far. Uh, Menace, another one to be looking out for. 8 net, 21 kills, 12 deaths. Uh, he was using an SMG in close range a lot of the times, and he was winning a lot of those fights because he was just so dominant with that uh, close range weapon. Uh, so another one we're going to be uh, looking out for on that uh, next half here. Call Me Pain, uh, going plus one net, 15 kills, 14 deaths. Rapid, going plus four net, 16 kills, 12 deaths. Uh, bolters are expected to do fairly well on any kind of powerhouse map, and this is uh, one of those kind of maps. Um, I'm the gift. One of the heavies inside goes negative 12, 7 kills, 19 deaths. Huge, huge problem for uh, the team right now as they can't really be affording to lose that kind of uh, a point um, uh, uh, loss. Uh, when it comes to uh, the inside game. Uh, can and Van, I'm sure, kind of expected this is going to be a difficult one for him, uh, as Monkey is a very, uh. very experienced LA. Uh, so his net score being negative 11, going 6 kills, 17 deaths, not as uh, bad as probably uh, 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 it could have been. I think he's actually holding his own fairly well, harassing Monkey enough. And on this next half, he's going to have a little bit of an easier time as he's not going to have to deal with a second person up there on the roof. Just to point out, um, it's actually Andy Van. 
Candy Van. Is what's, what is supposed to be his name? I may or may not have misspelled his character on this one. Very well um, done. Very well done. He, he, he didn't really want it remade, so... Alright, we're going to continue to call him <laughs> Cannon Van, then. <laughs> Uh, so for the Bax A side, we're looking at Monkey. He's got plus 10 net, 24 kills, 14 deaths. Again, tied with top frag of the game with Spy, uh, who was one of the heavies inside. Doing a fantastic job. He had a lot of support, though. He had a lot of support on the roof with uh, Moons and Telly and both going up there every now and again uh, to help uh, deal with uh, Cannon Van uh, and, uh, and getting <laughs> those flanks off. Um, also, Churtle, plus 6 net, 16 kills, 10 deaths, 69% HSR. A little high for Churtle. I think he's a little upset about that. I'm sure he can lower that on this next half. Uh, Moons, plus 3 net, 18 kills, 15 deaths. Um, and then we've got Begong going negative 3, Tellian going negative 9, and Zangief going negative 7. All of the heavies having a tough time inside, really... Um, um, Overall, it seemed like the heavy game did skew towards the ATP side, but again, they were on the stronger side with uh, with the better crossfire angle. So we will see if Baxa takes advantage of that, or if they get over aggressive and then start feeding points on the over aggression. Perhaps uh, we just don't know just yet. Um, now, one thing to note. Um, ATP has a lot of damage assists between all of their heavies. We do have uh, 14, 12, 13, and 9 uh, for their uh, damage assists. Uh, overall, they, they, they coordinated really, really well together. Um, you know, compare that to 14, 12, 6, and 8. Uh, with the backs A damage assist, they didn't really seem to coordinate as well. Um, there wasn't uh, as much of, uh, of, of just kind of cleaning up uh, as much as it was just trying we to take the full 1v1. will be starting in 1 minute. 45 seconds, 1 minute, 45 seconds. about 2 minutes. Yeah. So, uh -oh. But again, that is expected when you don't have the same kind of crossfire angles that ATP has. We might see that kind of uh, go back into favor of Pax A on this second half, but you just don't know yet. Also, they had the better HSR, so clearly that's why they won the half. That is true. They do have the better HSR. <laughs> 51 to 32. <laughs> that's a pretty big gap, so clearly... Clearly getting, big advantage there. getting a little carried there by Spy's 71% HSR. <laughs> that actually is pretty crazy. higher. You see that very often. Actually higher uh, HSR than Rapid. Their their actual bolt. I mean, he's better higher than both of the bolts in this match, which yeah. kind of makes sense. Expected if you know for Turtle. <laughs> um, it's expected for Rapid too. He's a very aggressive bolter. He likes to do the like no scope body shot plus knife combo. That's kind of his thing. Um, that's how he'll bolt a lot, is just the super CQC no-scoping type stuff, so he'll get a lot of body shots, too. Um, so, it, it kind of makes sense for both. Um, 50 also, seconds. quick thing to note, um, ATP is making a sub here. They're subbing out yes. I'm the Gift and subbing in Scorpio. I'm uh, the Gift was uh, was one of the players that was uh, losing a lot of points, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. So, understandable. Sometimes you come into the game a little cold. Uh, it doesn't quite feel right. Uh, you're not meshing really quite well, so you want to get subbed out. That's that's an understandable thing to do. Yep. 25. Um, he was also on LA quite a bit, um, trying to help out Candy, and I think he was struggling there. So that might have been part of it, but they're going for a new look either way. Um, curious to see how that goes. Yep. 10, 9... Eight, I'm going to be looking at the ATP six, side again. Five, four, They're going to be spawning in from the north. Two, one, go. Uh, Zangief forgot to reset his symbiote, so he had no HP and had to get another medkit, so he's going to be trailing behind a little bit. That's going to be kind of bad luck for <laughs> Bax Hay, as, uh, as, as having uh, less numbers inside the building right off the bat uh, does usually mean uh, disaster. Now, an Amp just went out, however. That's a good Amp, too. That's going to force everybody to stay up in Hall for a moment. Moon's here, gets one pick, gets a double. He goes down with that last one. Tellian here to clean up it, uh, uh, the last one on Fat. Turtle going down to the bolt, though. Zangief does pick up Rapid. Uh, that means that Baxa wins the building uh, for the first opener. But Payne actually coming on the flank gets a kill. Um, I don't know where he came from. Where is... Or is he on the roof? Oh, that might be roof. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, he's on the roof. He got yep, he picked off Monkey on the roof. So Monkey going to have a little bit of a harder time as he's going to have to deal with Heavy and LA uh, combo on the roof this time around. Yep, Turtle trying to help him out, gets the body shot on Pain, forces nope. him to drop. One thing to note, Pain just got uh, called out likely by Monkey. He goes down as soon as he enters the building, but Cannon Van gets the pick off of Monkey as well. He's trying to go in for a uh, flank. And it gets out alive. That's yep. smart. Keep the pressure up on him. Yep. Um, don't give away a free kill. 
Now, Talion holding on skinny is a, is a great place to be holding, and we're going to see Churtle here holding fat, and then Moon's holding the other angle. Uh, now, this is a, a classic kind of strategy, the crossfire sections that you want. Begon getting a little too aggressive there before clearing out Bolt. you got to be careful if you're going to peek that. He does get a trade, though, so that's not too bad. Yeah, that's good. Rapid here just looks like he's picked up a double there. Uh, yes, he did. Picked off Moon's. Um, now they're going to go death ball down towards skinny here. Talion goes oh, down early. Zangief has uh, one kill so far, but there's just too many ATP players up here. If there's not a big uh, concerted push up to uh, to pincer them, this is going to be bad it's for Begong him. Begong pushing alone here, forced to back off. Now Begong and Moons both pushing fat, and we've got Churtle and Zangief both pushing skinny. This is a bad spot for Call Me Pain. He goes down. Menace also going down before trading it out with Begong. Yep. ATP had four players up in Hall. You know, they were peeking skinny. They get the kill on Telly, and then they just kind of froze. You know, they gotta just pick a side and push it out, I think. But they just kind of froze up there and um, gave Bax the chance to get their people back in and get the counter push before they can really get set up. Um, unfortunate. Now I, I see uh, a lot of conks going out, I think. Yeah, I see a huge push trying for a server. I just don't see the flank yet, though. Uh, if they don't have a flank, they're not going to be able to clear out these crossfires uh, quite that easily. Call Me Pain does a questionable bunny hop into Hall there. The gong goes down on uh, Fat. It looks like Fat right now is cleared out. Rapid uh, still alive in server. Actually manages a pick there. He's got a double now off both Moons and Talion. Yep. Um, it's something that I've noticed ATP definitely struggles with um, on this map is actually using the roof and helping out the LA. Um, so that's going to be a big issue for them if they're going to be on this half. Like, so far you know, it gotta... has been a big issue for them as uh, the LA is kind of alone up here and he, this is really where you need to see a heavy come up here start flanking with that LA because they are just having a super tough time as we expected uh, trying to push into this crossfire angle. Yeah. Oh, Turtle gets a little aggressive, goes down to a Desi shot. Yep, Rapid picks off the gong. That's going to give him an opener maybe. Mm -hmm. Get a push going here. I think it's just Moons. Moons so and Geef and well. Tellian, though. It's a oh, yeah, still Tellian's a strong hold. hold. And there it is. Tellian picks off the uh, the bolt, so uh, they've got a bit more free reign to start peeking into dubs. Yep, just spy left. He's and forced to back off. There was the Monkey flank by nice Monkey. Draw. He picks him. Yep. So the scores are now 114 to 124 in favor of Bax A. Uh, ATP has to play this kind of carefully now. They gotta start doing more aggression around on flanks, uh, and they gotta they gotta do this time this really really well because they are they're really feeding a yep. lot of points pushing in from uh, server box all uh, together. Spy pushing onto the roof here. Um, he's looking for the fight with Monkey while the LA Candy just kind of playing back playing passive. Uh, not a bad idea. They. Ooh, Maybe Rapid and Turtle about to have a bolter battle. Turtle they does take it before going monkey. down. Um, so now we can expect that flank to maybe finally happen. Yep, here they come. There's that flank, yep. Coming up on Fat, they're going to clear out Skinny, and Tellian does not realize there's been a drop down. He's going to go down likely to that dropper. Uh, can yep, advance. Oh, he's got help coming back Some in reinforcements him. coming in, but unfortunately, Begon goes down. Yep, Rapid's still holding the top of Fat yep. here, forces the heavy off. Um, and then Payne smartly backs off point, comes comes to Rapid. No point in staying on point by himself there. Now, Baxay needs to clear out Hall. They gotta push him all the way back. They wanna keep getting more points uh, the way they were. Oh, Monkey goes are... inside and Rapid gets, picks him off the door too. Oh, a good push here. Tellian takes one. Goes down right away to Scorpy, uh, or I'm sorry, um, Menace. Scorp uh, Zangief getting aggressive up. Skinny goes down. Got a nice little 2v2 going here. Moons picks and up a moves. double there, but he goes down right away. Gets traded. Now, Begon got one more player, but there's still one more heavy upstairs in uh, in Hall. Actually, it looks like he backed out. Yep. Actually, now the he's got right the bolt move. with him. Yep, smart move. Prevent them from getting a spawn camp going. Oh, Baxay started bit. pushing up to Skinny. We've got a lot of presence on Skinny, but absolutely no presence on Fat. That could be fatal for Baxay. Interesting. In Monkey's going inside again. Here. Where Seems like he go? really wants to get a lot of pressure inside when it comes to these uh, these crossfire holds. Finally went back to the roof, but he goes down. Um, Candy gets control of the roof here, even though his team gets wiped inside. Only a 10-point difference uh, between ATP and Baxay. ATP 
uh, really doing a good job at, uh, at not feeding too many points in uh, when they do these pushes, even though they're they're not getting the flanks. Oh, no. Oh, that Tellian was a just big TK. Oh, Tellian no. gets the TK off of Begong there as he was trying to push aggressive. TKs, as you know, are a minus two, no matter what weapon. Yep, that is unfortunate. And you're also down a man, so now yep. ATP can make their push here. Monkey tries to get the flank to try and make it up, but it goes down to Scorpio. Pagong pushing in here from door three. Gets a lot of damage off of Menace here, but he might see some ATP players getting aggressive here. In fact, I see Rapid just starting to move now. Gets a body off of Pagong. Yeah, Pagong's still stuck in a tough spot here now. Finally, Rapid gets him. ATP jumps down, but they've got a lot of players waiting for him. Yeah. Yeah, they waited a little too long, and they didn't clear out, uh, go down to fat uh, quite as quickly as they probably should have there. A uh, little bit of a mistake by ATP, but uh, they do have still some uh, people inside of servers, so it's not like they actually can push right away onto fat. They do need to push it, though. Tellian and Churtle still pushing up onto uh, Skinny gets Menace. Yeah, Menace gets a little aggressive there by himself. Punished for it. Rapik is a nice pick on fat. Yeah, but gone going gone. down there. Spy yeah, here really going for a push. Yeah, that's a lot of damage there he just did to Begong, I think that was. That was, that was Zangief. Zangief. They were just about to push up and peek it, right as they pe peeked it. The imp hits them and they just have to run mm -hmm. away. Puts Ooh, Zangief basically by himself here, gets bodied, he goes down. Yep. A good clear there by ATP. Puts him back a yep. lot closer to the point uh, difference. And that was, that was all caused by a single really nice grenade. Yeah. Monkey here with a nice, uh, <laughs> a very Rapid. nice clear off of door one. Rapid gets really aggressive there, didn't have anyone to support him. It, for it. it seems like ATP kind of wants to copy the uh, the Baxe uh, strategy of going up uh, around door one, getting those spawn camps, but they just haven't practiced it nearly as much. So you, you can kind of see that uh, they did not cover door one nearly as much as they should have. I think it was a miscommunication, really. I think Rapid Maybe. wanted to do that, but the rest of the team was kind of hanging back. They didn't know that he wanted to. Oh, Tellian no, here. Stuck in the corner. Yeah, Tellian here gonna get an easy clean as they were both already amped. Well, and they were on top of each other. They yep. couldn't safely shoot him. That's just really awkward. Tellian Monkey just scoping flank, out Skinny. Kind of waiting for. I think he knows the bolts up here. Tellian goes down a very nice quick scope there by Rap. That's what he'll do. Looking for more here and gets punished by Zangief. Ooh, Zangief also going down from Skinny. That's a nice double. Now here comes the triple peak. Ooh, I like that. Drops with the desk, he pulls out the Kami, gets the headshot. Oh, Tellian also going down around server box in mid. Churtle going and down early. Candy on the flank. Moons tries to trade him. He does, actually does get the one for one. He's gonna pull that. Back saying a tight spot right now. The point gap has gone almost to neutral. Yep. And we're now we're seeing ATP going for that hole. Yeah, if, if they pushing out. if Baxe allows this uh, this hold to happen, this could be very very bad for. Them. Yep, ATP could take the lead here, and it'd be yep. tough for them to get it back. They need to have someone pick off Monkey though. He's just being a huge problem for them trying to push out door one. Now it does look like Cannon do is uh, is going to start harassing here. Oh, a bad push there by Monkey. He got too much damage taken, and he starts pushing it. Yep, they do trade back on the LA. Actually, they went everything inside. What just yep. happened there? Looks like the uh, the rest of the heavies actually cleaned up inside. That was a, that was a good uh, good couple plays there. The gong here on the flank goes down to call me pain. Doesn't look like he even took a shield. Nope, he got that nice client side peek on him and just mm -hmm. took him down. And it's, a, it's a risky push sometimes if, uh, if you push that and then somebody spots you out. Yeah, and I think his big mistake there is he started shooting at someone that was far away. I heard mm -hmm. the shots. Um, and then he's just, they know he's there. Ooh, Turtle about Ooh. to get flanked here by Rapid. Gets a body and takes. Rapid's still alive inside. Just oh, and gets oh. a no scope on Tellian oh. before going down. Yeah, that, that's Rapid for you. That is what he will do. Seeing a lot of impact from him today. Plus eight right now. 32 kills. That's a lot of kills for a Bolter. Ooh, Cannon takes roof control. Monkey going down. That's going to be bad for uh, Bax A if they push in without clearing that roof. Yep, I'd like to see a heavy come with him, though. Oh, it does look uh, like uh, the heavies are aware that there's a, is a potential flank coming in the doorway. 
Yeah, but that pulls them off of uh, dubs, although ATP doesn't really get a chance to take advantage of it because they reset. Yeah, right now uh, we're about 3 minutes 30 seconds left in the match. Scores are 166 to 174. Backs a uh, lead, but it's so close, it's still too close to call. Yep, yeah, just a 9 point gap right now. All it takes is ATP to clear them once and then get a spawn camp going, and they could absolutely come back from this. It's so, so close. Yep, and this match is also huge for both teams because with the way the group's playing out so far, the winner of this match will almost certainly be second in their group. So you definitely want to win this match. Yeah, um, I mean you want to win all matches, but, but getting this match in particular because you know it's just like a such a close match uh, in terms of a, a ability, you really, really want to make sure you get the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that tiebreaker, get a better spot in the playoffs. Yeah. So you maybe have a better chance to um, advance. Monkey, Monkey going inside just gets <laughs> I don't know if he threw a flash there either. I didn't see a flash go out. No, I didn't see one either. They're trying to push up fat here, but Rapid is just... just Ooh, a flank coming in from off. door one. Telling tries oh, to turn on him, but can it take... Now, this is going to be a clear on Skinny, I think. Zangief and Moon's already yep. going down. Turtle, however, Turtle. takes out Spot. He's getting flanked. He's still alive, though. Oh. The Bulger's going for the no scope yeah. fight. <laughs> But that doesn't really help ATP too much because they took a couple yep. losses there. So took a couple, gap, but it closes... it's so much closer now. We're still looking at 177 yeah. to 183. Closes it to a six-point gap. Really That's all they need. They, need. they just need to keep chipping away at that score. They gotta be. They're so so close. They just need a building clear and a spawn camp, and they could absolutely win this. Backsay has Moons to has gets to play a double super, opener, super strong. Pushing up fat here. Just pain and rapid. Ooh, left. goes pain down as one. he tries to bunny hop. Pain's still alive on Another bunny hop comes in from tail. That was a nice push by Bax. Yep. And the score gap has widened back up to a 10 point lead in favor of Bax. Eh? Uh, they're a little bit more comfortable as there's only a minute 30, but it's still very, very close. They cannot afford to get comfortable. Yep. Menace and can um, Candy get the pick, get a second one onto Moons. Um, on the flank right now. Yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous spot for Bax to be in. Oh, Tellian Spy likely going down. He goes. Gong goes down. Ooh, I think ATP might have gotten a, a big wipe here with very, very that's minimal a, losses. That's a six for one right there. That was a six for yeah, one. Yeah, I think so only Spy went gap. down. Um, still a five point gap. Yeah, but... but here's the thing: they they now have a spawn camp available. Oh, 186 to 189. Goes down. Just a three point game now. There's oh, and then Gong goes down outside. Moons takes one on Same door one. And Moons get a double. Oh, but Moons is getting dropped on by the LA. Oh, it's just two-point game with 40 seconds left. <laughs> oh, oh this goodness. is very, very close, and that spawn camp really does put ATP in an advantage spot. Yeah, but Bax isn't pushing here. They're yeah, just they, holding. They might they know what play the score this, is. They gotta play this so carefully right now. Turtle needs to get a pick before they can even push. The gong here sees the sees the people on door one. If there's a oh for nice monkey push here by double. monkey gets a double, but he goes down a rabbit. But here's the gong. He's gonna trade that ram that that bolt out. And here goes Zangief. He gets the LA, and then inside, I don't think there's enough pressure. I think Baxe just won this. Yep, five point lead with just eight seconds left. Only that alive. was so so close for Baxe. That really that... could have gone poorly for them, but they handled Match the recap. Over. Match is over. That double by ATP oh, 191. Man. Back A 197. Congratulations to Bax. They handled that that recover so so well. That was mm -hmm. so close. I thought when they started pushing that they were gonna make a mistake there and just feed into him. Whoo! But wow. Monkey gets that huge double and opens up things up. Lets the rest of his team push. They get two more kills. Yeah, Monkey essentially opening up the entirety of door one there and allowed the entire team to actually start getting the momentum they needed. He basically won them that match right there at the end with that play. That was so so clutch by Monkey. Uh, we're we're gonna have him in for the uh, for the interview here in a moment because he is the captain. Uh, who's the captain for uh, ATP? Uh, Rapid, he is already waiting in the streamer okay. lobby for us whenever we are ready. We'll get them in just a moment. Let's go over these individual scores here. All right, so for the ATP side, where they went 191, we had Menace at net 6 and 37 kills, 30 deaths. Spy at plus 8 net, 42 kills, 35 
deaths. He was top frag of the game, actually. He actually managed to, to squeeze that out uh, before Monkey because he only had 41. Uh, so four, 42 kills there. 60% uh, HSR actually managing to, uh, to to keep a really high HSR for some reason. Uh, you don't usually see that in 6v6 format, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Rapid also plus 8 net, 35 kills, 27 deaths, 63% HSR. Uh, fantastic job bolting. Bolters tend to do well on this map, but just an overall really, really nice job by him anyway, even, even despite that. Uh, backs A, we've got Moons plus 4 net, 38 kills, 34 deaths. Also, 42% HSR, actually. He's, uh, he, was, he was really uh, popping off uh, with his aim. And Turtle, 9 net, 31 kills, 23 deaths, 64% HSR. And Monkey at plus 10 net, 41 kills, 31 deaths. Uh, he was really the MVP of the, of the game just because of that last play. Just such an important role that he played in, in breaking that spawn lock. Um, just it was, it was a very, very, very close game right up until the end. Uh, just just barely managing to win that out by, uh, by back, say. Uh, so very, very good, uh, good game there. Um, the rest of the heavies actually didn't do terribly bad. Zangief only negative one. Begong negative seven. Tellian negative nine. Those really aren't too terrible bad of scores. On the ATP side, uh, who we had a I'm the Gift get swapped out, but we had uh, Scorpio come in and take over. Unfortunately, he didn't do too much better. It seemed like uh, negative nine as well. Um, you know, it's not a terrible, terrible score, but uh, it's still... You know, you, you want to you wanna hopefully win those heavy fights inside. Um, Call Me Pain goes net zero, 31 kills, 31 deaths. Uh, and uh, let's see here. I think that was the only two in the net negatives. Oh, I'm sorry, Cannon Van. Uh, he, you know, despite the fact that he did go negative nine, he actually played a very important role, and we actually saw him um, uh, do a lot of damage to the LA game on, on Monkey's side. So uh, yeah. it, it might look like he kind of fed, but in reality, he was a very important player for the uh, ATP game. Uh, that could have gone a lot worse for ATP had Cannon Van not played as well as yeah. he did. He definitely pulled it out. Pulled it back later in that second half. Um, he was starting to win a lot more 1v1s later on. Um, I think he ended up plus two in this half, if I remember the first half correctly. Yeah. Um, yeah definitely helped him out there. <coughs> uh, I pulled up the advanced stats, by the way. And one thing I wanted to point out is Moons. Um, even though he's only plus four overall, um, he had a two 1v1 KD. Um, so that was just huge for them. He was winning all those fights inside, um, really opening things up, letting him push. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring in our, uh, our interviewees. User was moved right. to your channel. User was moved Hello. to your channel. Hello. Uh, we've got you? Rapid for the ATP side. We've got Monkey. Not Gallows. For the back Ew, A side. Stinky. Oh. <laughs> that this was very stinky. That this was. Is the Pog staff, uh, <laughs> you know, match. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a that was a really really exciting match. That was so so close all the way until so the end. Play. Uh, I believe that that was the closest match of the tournament. I'd have to double check. So far, sure. yeah, oh. uh, I think it I think it was. Um, so first thing I want to ask is, uh, Monkey, did you know how close the match was as you came came up to the, the last um, few minutes? I didn't because I felt like I was I was fragging out. I was having a good time, and then I asked my other guys, like, yeah, we're minus, we're like net zero, and I'm like, oh shit, it's actually a lot closer than I thought it was. <laughs> oh, um, but like, I mean, historically we've always played the first half worse, like that side, uh, which is kind of why I chose it because I wanted to make sure that we knew the kind of lead that we needed to gain coming to the second half. Um, but you know it's whatever we uh, we did well and they did really well so I'm I'm happy with uh, the turnout it was so close like the last like I want to say three minutes uh, especially with the last wipe like we were like super high energy like everyone was screaming it was it was really fun to hear even yeah. Turtle got into it and that last wipe although not as much as like Moons that last wipe actually won you the game too it was it I know was, I'm I'm well aware you it was a it was a two point gap when you made that push. And had mm -hmm. ATP held on to that, uh, they could have gotten a couple more kills from the from the lock that they had. That could have really yeah. gone gone badly for you guys. That, you just barely that managed cap to that. the first half was uh, was really strong for ATP side because that's really what like kind of made the point difference matter. And uh, the fact that we were able to get cap second half, I think, kind of was was important for us because we were like really trying to make sure that we got point and didn't have to worry about that later on because having the point in contention when they're already only two points away is really not a fun time. Now, same question for uh, Rapid. Actually, do you did you guys know how close that match was uh, coming up to the last couple? Minutes? Yeah, we were running the script in the background, so okay. I was checking over, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, foggies, dude, this is close." Yeah. So 
I was gonna speak I'm actually that, like no offense to ATP or anything, but I didn't expect you guys to be so strong coming out of it because when you guys played some of the other teams, like looking at like past scrim match and stuff, maybe you just didn't have your best six, but like you didn't do bad. But at the same time, um, I was I was a lot more confident going into this. So, like major props for like putting up such a good fight because I was really scared we were gonna lose that for a lot of it. Monkey, you understand these matches are scripted, right? Like there is a script of what we're supposed to do. And our script. Wait, wait, wait! wait. This is all. This is all. Go... This is all being captured. No, 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 uh to, to kind of was made that, me was angry that just, dude yeah was that just a throw off back say what was going on i was so mad at the end of the day yeah it's all about hey monkey is the leader so let's just ruin his day that's that's the goal at the end that of the day sense. So that does make it, sense it, it obviously it worked this man just you know he, you see how ragey he is right now he's yeah he's tilting out the face I'm, of the I'm plan molding. yeah um now the real talk i wasn't expecting a double a strap because usually the focus for teams like ours included was to push directly and like we didn't want a roof heavy at the start we decide like our thing is usually like and i know this is strats if we give it away for the next team so basically our strat is like usually just try to get presence inside the building before we focus on roof um so the fact that they went to roof first with two la's really threw me off and of course i died to it because i'm not expecting double la and i play pretty aggro at the start like most teams do because my goal is basically kill the la as fast as i can so i can drop door three and help my team um so the fact there's two there meant i was really thrown off and i was so far up that i had no way to get get out yeah when monkey plays that dubs uh side he likes to push hard on that uh bridge side lane so mm -hmm. big smiley face now, Rapid, I've heard that... <laughs> Nothing uh, is more aggravating than Rapid, because you consistently play the bolt on the street, and I don't know, like, I only died once this game, but I know in past, maybe it just gave me, like, flashbacks how many times I've gotten killed by you bolting on the street when we respawn. It, it just takes one respawn. time to cause PTSD, right? You know, every time Literally. someone looks at them, they're like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. So, Rapid, I, uh, I do want to ask, because, um... I was hearing a little bit about you guys. It sounds like you guys had a lot of practice matches coming up uh, towards this one. Um, did you practice Gun and South uh, a lot? Did you have a strategy going into this, or was it kind of just play it by ear a little bit? Um, kind of uh, a little bit of improvisation. What happened? We we played this map quite a bit. I, mm -hmm. This is personally one of my favorite maps, but uh, some players do prefer Xenotech more than others uh, on our team as well. So um, really, yeah, th this map. Imagine yeah, the bullshit and you're like Gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, I love this. Just uh, I don't know. It's just my map, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm overall, joking. it's it's a big, big uh, scrimmy base, and uh, we played it a bit. But I, you could see our biggest weaknesses was setting up the spawn lock on when we own dubs to set it up on doors one, two, three. Uh, I don't think we were really we haven't really focused that. We know how to do the dub side more or less, right? It's pretty simple. But doors one, two, three does uh, impose a lot of angles, so we weren't able to set it. Up we noticed that too. Like when you guys, I honestly think that you guys could have won that if you played a lot more aggressively out the door one, two, three. Um, pushes out because you had like one lockdown that really worked, and also towards the end, like the last few minutes was good. Um, but uh, if you had done that, because you had the chance to do it earlier. Um, what our thing. Like, uh, Gellis, you can attest to this. Like, Ganon actually was our worst base, and we put the most amount of practice into it. Because when we first started scrimming as a team, I think we played Baxby and it was like a 150 point gap. Like, it was miserable, dude. Like, we really sucked at this map. So, I'm, this is kind of a redemption map because we sucked playing as a team, and like, now we, we can play it semi competently. Yeah, yeah, I can attest to that because we, I have definitely seen the Bax A team play on this map uh, uh, so many times. And, and you guys really did struggle for a long time, but you really have picked up that game uh and and fix that mm -hmm. also uh monkey they fix did your beat rpn on this map i fixed uh, it i fixed last... it okay. <laughs> they, they did beat rpn on it last week uh actually or the week before yeah. if you look at the uh vod it was on this channel actually yeah uh they had a really great boulder for that one too uh, i forget his name though mm, was it livermorium maybe oh my no oh. SMH, but... <laughs> this dude doesn't get the memes rapid was ringing yeah. for back say that particular uh... match. Yo, wow. was casting me. How does he even not remember? He's casting with James. Bro, yeah, I, you know how many casting. matches I've cast? <laughs> so many. <laughs> All right. Gellos just lives in the caster chat. Bro, he just doesn't care about us anymore. That's that's what it is. Who am I talking to again? Are you Livermorium? Big pill money. <laughs> no, I'm Livermorium. All right. Well, this has been uh, this, <laughs> this is a fun match to watch. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, one both thing. I'm team. just gonna plug real quick because we have two of the admins here. Please, if you like PAL, join Pog. It's in uh, PSB yep. Discord. You get some practice doing six v six. Uh, for the weekend, it is locked, but uh, as soon as the weekend is over and the weekdays come up, uh, you can rejoin the POG lobbies and uh, and get more uh, 6v6 kind of action and, uh, and actually play in them, too. Uh, I do actually recommend that, especially for those that are wanting to get into this kind of format, because it's a fantastic introduction. Uh, now...
what I was saying. Uh, that was a fun match to watch. Super, super close match to watch. Um, and, and just overall, just kind of a nail-biter up, up until the end. Uh, so congratulations to the Backs A side. Um, thank you for the match for both teams, ATP and Backs A. Uh, Monkey and I think you were Livermorium, is that right? Uh, thanks for both captains for coming out and, uh, and playing. Uh, and I think tomorrow the, you know what? I don't have the schedule up right now, uh, but the I first, the schedule. okay. What's the first match coming? Uh, first match bright and early 12 UTC, uh, okay. Ziz versus FSD. <laughs> 12 UTC. Yeah. What is that? ET? Yeah. That is eight, eight, in the morning. eight, eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. Probably, probably won't see a lot of you guys, you guys that are watching right now in that one. But uh, if you want to uh, wake up and watch that, actually, it's it's, it's still going to be an enjoyable uh, match to watch. Uh, so yep. go and watch that if you can. Uh, that We've is going to be it for matches tomorrow yeah. for sure. A lot of fun ones. And I've got a for lot Turtle of casting beat me by one percent HSR. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm tilted. <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> All right, thank you for both teams for coming out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this on post-splash. Congratulations again to the Max A side. Uh, bye bye. With that time. <laughs>